Hi there, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to be making a rose from a scrap piece of sheet metal. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please do hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Now let's get cracking. So you start off using, a, use these quite often actually as a template for circles if you need anything. Just some old cutting discs that have got a bit too small for actually cutting or they got damaged a bit like this one. But these circles only need to be rough for what we're doing here. So. I'm overlapping a little bit because when I put the petals in, we can do it like that. So we don't waste quite so much metal, you know? That's rough. Do sort of six, maybe seven, depends on how sort of fat you want the the rows to be really. <laughs> Depends how much metal you got as well. So yeah, probably best before we cut it out would be to actually uh, take the paint off. So let's get the angle grinder and do that. we have them cleaned off now we just need to middle and the stem will go through draw in some petals again doesn't have to be perfect they are organic and you can overlap them a little bit because they're going to get curved up so most of them other than the outside ones you're not really going to see again that's not worked out amazing but they don't like I said they don't have to be the same size a they won't be in real life anyway and B, you're not going to see them. So let's get that cut out. Again, I'm right handed, so I'm going to go with these side curves first. Remembering that's where the hole, don't go all the way in. Okay. Okay, next one. Okay. So now I'm going to spin him over and do the other side. Finish that. So I'm always going the way that is comfortable for me. So you might be left-handed, you might find it easier, or you could, you could just go all the way through. It's up to you. Whatever you find easier. There we go, three pouts. I'm just gonna give the sort of uh, markings of the tin snips off there because I don't like them and give it a bit more shape. So there we go, we've got a reasonably nice organic shape. I'm using the word organic as my excuse for getting out of the fact that they, it's never symmetrical, no, none are going to be the same. So now we need to add the um, petals onto the stem. So if you start off with the biggest one, just slide them on. Next biggest one. Next biggest one. You get a gist. 
then finally the smallest one. Now, find your end point. Roughly about there. Now, weld the bottom one on. Pushing him down. Okay, so that's the bottom one welded into place. Now, Need to do the same on the top one. Pushing him down. Okay. And then put him in well. You don't want too much on there because you want to bend it up. You want enough for it to not come undone, obviously. So now we need to bend them up start making the shape of the rows. Now, a nice pair of thin nose pliers to do the trick. And start with the smallest one, just bend them up. And you might find, you know, you, there you can see I, I haven't gone far enough in, so I need to get my tin steps. Cut them in more towards the center. So yeah, now I just bend them all up. Obviously thinking about the fact that it's a rose in the middle, you know, you kind of just roll. The first ones in the middle, always rolled up. Okay, do the same on the other side. Um, there we go, it's the first one. We just need to do the same with all the others, basically. So again, fold him up. I can see it doesn't matter if they get a bit bent out of shape because it's a petal. So you need some bigger pliers, get a bit more weight behind it, just to squeeze them into the middle a bit more. There you go. With that first one, you want to keep it nice and tight. So the smaller pliers are better. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, yeah? I'm using that as my excuse my not perfect ones. So just work your way around one by one. Bigger, smaller, however you want to do it.
C's coming on now, get the idea. Now you could weld each separate layer on to each other, but I like to keep them on so I can actually then like move them around so that the petals overlap in the right places, covering the holes, etc. Sometimes get a little hammer in, tap if it's not going quite easy. Squeeze, because you're going to get to the point where your pliers aren't going to be big enough. You can see I'm, I'm bending them in places and you think, oh, it's, you know, it's not a, if you look at a rose, it's the way they are, they just sort of bend them all over the place, they, you know, outwards and stuff, so, but I tend to do them all bending over after I've got the whole thing in. Just remember, you know, it's your rose, it's your project, do it how you want to do it, you know. But I would recommend trying to keep in the bottoms as tight as you can. Coming along nicely. Now back at the last layer, you might want to leave some of them sort of hanging down, uh, really is up to you. And I'm going to curve mine up a little bit at least, um, just because. Now you can sort of make it your own. Uh, just bend some bits up, give it a little tilt down, because obviously that's what they do. You know, just have a little play, a bit of manipulation. Bend it down. 
pull them out. Yeah, you can even take some little nicks out of them if you want to make it look quite organic. Uh, that's one little rose. See, that uh, looks quite nice, I think. Now, you might want to paint it afterwards, or you might want to just leave it like that. It's really up to you.